Hello everyone and welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session we are going to learn about a very interesting topic called height and distance. Now as the name says, in this topic the candidate is required to find either the height of the given object or the distance of the object from any given point which are not directly measurable. The knowledge that we have gained from the topic of trigonometry would help us a lot in solving the questions from this topic. Basically, we make use of different trigonometric ratios, especially tan theta and cot theta to solve the questions from this topic of height and distance. Now, Before we look at a few examples, let us understand a little about the terminology that is used in this topic, right? Like terms like uh, line of sight, angle of elevation and angle of depression. I shall explain this to you with the help of a few illustrations as you can see on the board here right now look at the first one what do we see here there is a ground level right let's say this is uh, the ground and a person standing on the ground here right generally referred to as an observer right he is the observer and then there is an object this is the object right in our case the object which I have taken is an aeroplane you may not agree but you know, I have tried my hand at drawing an aeroplane here. So, the object is an aeroplane. It can be anything else, right? It can be a bird or it can be a kite or it may be, you know, some point on top of a building or the top of a tower, etc. Right? And there is an observer, right? This person here is the observer. So, as we see here, the observer is looking at an object. He is observing an object. Now, what is line of sight? What is meant by line of sight? Well, line of sight is a straight line joining the eye of the observer and the object right if we connect the eye of the uh, eye of the observer and the object with the help of a straight line that's called as the line of sight so in this case if you see the eye of the observer and the object are you know connected with the help of a straight line which is the line of sight so in this case this is the line of sight all right line of sight now what is meant by angle of elevation angle of elevation if you observe the angle made by the line of sight with the horizontal right this line of sight is making some angle right this is the angle made uh, by the line of sight with the horizontal this angle is known as the angle of elevation right this is the angle of elevation so the theta that we get here the angle that we consider is known as angle of elevation so basically if you observe the object is at an elevated position when compared to the eye of the observer right so we get an angle of elevation it is always measured with respect to the horizontal so if we consider a horizontal here the angle made by the line of sight with the horizontal or simply the angle between the line of sight and the horizontal is what is known as the angle of elevation all right and as i mentioned earlier the object can be anything it can be a you know you know moving i mean it can be a aeroplane or a bird or some kite there or maybe you know some uh, point on top of a building let's say this is a building here right this is a tower so the observer is looking at the top of the tower so the angle made uh, by this line of sight with the horizontal is known as the angle of elevation now there's something known as angle of depression let's look at what is an angle of depression now if you look at the second illustration here we have a building on top of which is an observer right here is the observer okay and the object is on the ground right the object that I have considered here is a tree and this is the object this is the object that we are going to consider in this case now it can be anything here right a tree or some other person or some uh, object lying on the ground there now if you observe the line of sight is as shown here right this slant line connecting the eye of the observer with the object so this is the line of sight now angle of depression is the angle between line of sight and the horizontal when the object is you know vertically below the observer what is the difference between these two cases here we see that the object is at an elevated angle right the object is vertically above not exactly vertically above but you know it is above the observer whereas in case of uh, angle of depression we find that the object is below uh, the observer right it is, it is below the observer so this angle made by uh, the line of sight with the horizontal is known as angle of depression right so there are two different types of angles here angle of elevation and angle of depression angle of elevation is the angle made by the line of sight with the horizontal and angle of depression is the angle made by uh, the line of sight with the horizontal the difference is in this case the horizontal is below the line of sight 
right that's one way to look at it and in this case the horizontal is above the line of sight right so simple terminology here line of sight is the line joining the eye of the observer with the object angle of elevation is the angle between the line of sight and the horizontal same is the case with angle of depression right it is the angle made by the line of sight in the horizontal but the difference is in the first case the object is you know little above the horizontal and in the second case the object is below the horizontal that we consider all right now the other important point which i would like to mention here is about the change in the angle of elevation right for example if you observe the distance between the observer and the object here right the horizontal di distance between the observer and the object here is let's say d all right this is the distance between the observer and the object now the point to be noted is as d decreases as the distance between the observer and the object decreases we would uh, find that the angle of elevation increases yes or no for example let's say uh, we consider the person here the observer is in this new position now what happens draw the line of sight this is the object so when we connect this right this is the new line of sight now what is the angle made here this is the angle clearly the angle made in the second case let's say this is theta and this is theta dash theta dash would be more than theta so as the observer comes closer to the object the angle of elevation increases same is the case when it comes to angle of depression right let's say here the object is three let us move the object let's say we are uh, you know considering some uh, some object here right on the ground this is the object okay this is the point now what happens if you look at it the line of sight that is the line connecting the eye of the observer with the object here now the angle has increased earlier the angle was this much now if you take the new angle theta dash it is obvious that theta dash would be more than theta right so again the same argument as the distance between the observer and the object decreases the angle of elevation or the angle of depression increases right the angle increases there you can you can understand this with the help of a simple example let's say you are watching a movie in a theater right you are watching some movie in a theater now if you are at the last row if you are sitting in the last row what happens it is comfortable to watch the movie right you can uh, look at the screen very comfortably but as you as you move to the you know front rows you will find that uh, the angle at which you look at the screen increases right so clearly when you are coming closer to the screen the angle of elevation increases let's consider you are sitting in the first row what happens it's very difficult to watch the movie right we'll be uh, watching the movie at this angle right there is an increase in the angle there because you're very close to the screen you'll have to look up to you know at, at a certain point on the screen so the angle of elevation has increased and when you just go backwards what happens as you keep moving backwards the angle of elevation would decrease or the other way if you keep moving for, uh, forwards the angle of elevation would increase so basically the point is when the distance between the observer and the object decreases the angle of elevation increases same is applicable for angle of depression as well so this point would be useful while answering the questions from this topic of height and distance let us now look at a few examples